Okay, today we're going to talk about the froth pack refill system. We have all the components to set up the refill system and we're going to go through the parts first, then the assembly, then we're going to get into running a calibration and then spraying. Start out with, let's look at the components we've got. We've got a nitrogen bottle, high pressure nitrogen bottle, and it's been attached to the regulator in advance here. So we've got the regulator, we've got nitrogen transfer hoses, we've got chemical transfer hoses, we have the InstaFlow gun, we have two different types of ball valves, some nozzles, and today what I did is I bought some colored tape and I pre-colored tape the hoses all the way across so the red A side or the ISO side and then the blue polyol side and we never want to transfer across these two hoses so we color code everything so they don't accidentally get crossed. If they did get crossed you'd make foam inside the hoses and they would be no longer usable. First thing we're going to go do is hook up our nitrogen hoses to the regulator. There's little plastic caps on here that are for protection during shipping. And once again, since the gun has the red or A side on the right side, we're going to put it all on the right side here, the red hose. So red hose on the operator's right side. Blue hose to the operator's left side. And we're going to come back and tighten these down good with a wrench to make sure we have no leaks. Now we're going to take these nitrogen lines and hook them up to the tanks. There's little cap covers that are on these tanks and you save these for when you're all done. When these tanks are emptied, you'll put these back on here and return them back to Dow Chemical. Once again, the blue hose goes to the blue tank. Remove the cap. Then we're going to go back and install these ball valves onto the chemical hoses. Now there's two ball valves. One's a hose to hose fitting and the other one is a swivel valve. That swivel valve is going to connect it to the tank. So you use one on each set of hoses. And it doesn't matter which end you put it on. Now we're going to connect the chemical hose to the tank. Once again, there's a plug in these. You're going to save these plugs because you're going to put them back in when you return to cylinders. Also, there's a filter that's in a little cloth bag. Install the filter first, and there's a little arrow on here that shows the direction of the chemical flow. That's very important because you put them on backwards, you will not get chemical flow. So in this case, the direction is outward, and the arrow is pointing out. Now when I hook up the other one on the A side, the A side is a moisture sensitive material. As such that any moisture that gets into the valve will crystallize the A component. So when I remove this plug in here, there's some petroleum jelly that's been put in there by the manufacturer. We're going to take a little cotton applicator and reach in there and remove that petroleum jelly. And you'll see there's a little wad of petroleum jelly on there. Clean it out a couple times. Otherwise that'll get clogged up into your filter and may reduce the flow of the chemical. Also while I'm over here on the A side or the ISO side of the tank, there's some shipping instructions in here for returning the cylinders. Dow Chemical pays to have the cylinders returned back them. So you just fill out the paperwork and uh, they can be given to a shipper. All the shipping information is included in here. Now let me hook up the chemical hoses. Once again, the red A hose with the other A lines can be attached on here. 
I like the ball valve left in the upward position. And once again, we're going to come back and tighten this all up with a couple wrenches. B chemical over to the blue B side. And then what I like to do is take these chemical lines and run them all the way out and, and straighten them out, get any kinks out of them, and then tape them together before we attach the gun. The gun's going to mount on here like such, but we don't want to have any kinks in the hose. So we're going to run this hose straight out 30 foot and tape it up and then come back and attach the gun. So let's go do that now. What we're going to do now is we're going to attach the InstaFlow gun to the chemical hoses. And I'm going to loosely put these on here because I want the hoses to be nice and even. It'll be a lot easier for the operator as he's spraying. I also like the ball valves in an upward position. That way, when he wants to start, all he's got to do is push these down and they'll lay nice and flat and they don't get hung up on anything. And then since I've got a helper here, he's going to tape the hoses together so they stay nice and even. And we're going to do that all the way down every 18 inches or so. We're going to put some tape on the hoses just to keep them together. Makes it a lot easier working in the shop. The hoses don't get wrapped around things as easily. And then we'll come back with some crescent wrenches and uh, tighten these up real well. So now we're going to pressurize the system. We're going to turn on the main nitrogen bottle and that'll pressurize nitrogen into the regulator. He's going to open that valve all the way up. Then he's going to come around and pressurize the A or ISO side and then the B or polyol side. He's going to set that regulator to 150 PSI. And you'll see both regulators jump up to that 150 level. Now he's going to follow the nitrogen lines down to the tanks and pressurize the tanks. You'll hear a little nitrogen flowing as it pressurizes the cylinders. All the while he's doing it, he's also checking for leaks. Now that the system's pressurized, now we can turn the chemical valves on and pressurize the chemical hoses. Once again, he's checking for chemical leaks all the way. And you can hear the chemical rushing, rushing through the hoses as he turns that valve on. Now we're going to check the gun to make sure it's in working order. He's going to open up those last two chemical valves. You'll see chemical flow into the gun in just a minute here. As soon as he pulls the trigger and purges the hoses of nitrogen pressure. And you'll get two good chemical streams. There you go. He's all set to go. He's got good chemical flow. We're going to use a little Great Stuff Pro gun cleaner to clean out the face of the InstaFlow gun. So a quick shot at the face of the gun cleans it out. And then prior to putting in the nozzle in, we're going to use some petroleum jelly to make insertion easier. So here we're using the Froth Pack refill system. And with the refill system, you can go up to 120 feet with the hoses, which is great for very large buildings like this pole building. We're spraying overhead here, about five feet above ground. And the Froth Pack system works fine for these applications. Once again, up to 120 feet of hose can be applied with this system. And then for cold weather applications, we have a heated hose system called the Arctic Pack. And that can be installed separately onto this refill system.